I I grew up in Eluama, Zuakole. That's I'm from Amuda, Eluama, Zuakole, in Banda local government area of Abia State, Nigeria. So I grew up in Zuakole. You know, it was nice growing up in the village. That was so nice. He has been able to, I mean, it, it, it has been able to help me become who I am today. You know, there were some things, folk, I mean, folk laws, you know, all those things that I learned from my grandmother. And you can't take it away from me. It's me and it's dear forever. So, you know, I had this opportunity to mingle with my peer groups. And uh, I, it was really interesting. I played some funny games then. Most of those games, when I remember them now, uh, um, like in some of my movies, I was able to implore them and use them as tricks, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was really interesting. It was really nice growing up. And they, um, you know, growing up uh, in the village and the later I came to town, you know? So and when you were growing up in the village, did you have a sense of Nigeria or did you have a sense of Abia State or Igbo land? Had, you, first of all, I had a sense of Igbo land. <laughs> And uh, because, you know, I grew up in Igbo land and the, I had the opportunity to learn our cultures. I, I had the opportunity to study the ethics, I mean, the norms and ethics of Igbo land and of Nigeria. You know, so there were, I mean, so many things. I got to learn that when you wake up in the morning, you greet your elders. They don't do that in the UK. You know, you, Imagine in, in America or UK, a child can come up and touch his father's head. He don't do that. In Nigeria, I mean, in Igbo land, it's like a taboo. You can't touch your father's head. You know, there are a lot of things. I learned to, I grew up to learn culture, to understand that culture is very normative. That is it. How important are the creative industries here? How important is the film industry in Nigeria today? Well, it's very important. It's very, very important. The film industry, you know, has really created a lot of job opportunities for Nigerian youths and even the young ones. Yeah. Um, today, uh, at, at least we can boast of over 7,000 people in the movie industry. Yeah, so it's been able to, you know, take a lot of people off the streets. It's been able to turn some good loose. Uh, because once they join the industry, they can't go ahead to, to I mean, be part of society else. So they, they believe whatever they do, they'll be seen by the public. So it's been able to change a lot of people, you know. Uh, so we're getting a lot from it. And do you think that your political leaders, Nigerian leaders, have fully embraced the potential of this industry? Yeah, they are, but you know, it takes a gradual process because um, Nollywood is a child of circumstance, so he's been able to grow on his own and develop, grow and develop on his own. So, but the government are coming in, they, they, are real, they have realized the, I mean, the, the, how big it is, the potentials they are in. So, they are coming in, they've been able to, they're trying to reconcile, you know, the industry with the, the I mean, the issue of politics in Nigeria. So. The, um, very soon, um, we'll be benefiting from it. Yeah, very soon. And I mean, on the issue of Nigeria realizing it, I know you weren't born um, before independence. No, after independence. <laughs> Nigeria had independence in 1960. Oh, I don't know how old my mom was, maybe a little girl. <laughs> uh, um, yes. Being independent is just being self-reliant, you know, you on your own. You feed yourself, you, you, you clothe yourself, you take care of yourself, you do everything on your own. So, Nigeria being independent means a lot. means that today, um, Nigeria can stand and attest to its claim, you know. Nigeria can say, yes, we are the giants of Africa. We've been, been able to do this, we've been able to do that. Um, even though there are still some loopholes, you know, but you know, Rome was not built in a day. It takes a gradual pr process to develop a community, a state, and even a country. So uh, we are still on the right track. <laughs> so, but are you are you unhappy with where Nigeria is? Or are you happy? I mean, do you, um, do you think there's something to celebrate? Well, um, I 
am happy to some extent. Yeah, uh, because uh, a lot of people uh, by now expected Nigeria to be maybe like South Africa or bigger than that, you know. But like I said, you know, uh, development takes a gradual process. Uh, it's not easy, um, but I, there are a lot of changes coming in this country. So um, I am happy because the, I think we had a conducive environment for Nollywood. And that's why we can come out, go to location and shoot movies and put them on, I mean, in the market. But the problem is just that financially, you know, because of piracy, we are, we are, we are stunted in that aspect. So that is the problem. Uh, but apart from that, even though the government, the federal government is doing, I mean, doing everything possible to put a stop to this the, um, piracy, so, um, uh, all the same, I am happy. This is my country. And talking about this being your country, do you feel allegiance to being Nigerian, or do you feel Igbo, or do you feel um, Christian? I mean, what, how, do you, how would you characterize your sense of belonging and your sense of identity in such a huge and diverse country? Yeah, um, first of all, I am proud to be a Nigerian. I'm from the Igbo race. Um, you know, these days, um, the way um, people see Nigerians, uh, whenever you tell somebody I'm a Nigerian, you know, people immediately have different perception about who you are. But the thing is that um, Nigeria is not the most corrupt country in the world. Sure? Every country is corrupt. Yes, every country is corrupt. Uh, like I said, we are still growing. But the thing is, I'm proud to be who I am. I'm proud to be a Nigerian. I'm telling people that one day, people, you're going to see a Nigerian and you want to identify with a Nigerian. I want to ask you to paint the picture for me of how you see Nigeria over the next 50 years or what you want to see, what you want to see and how Nigeria will achieve what you want to see. Well, I, I want to see a lot of development. I want to see positive change or changes in every facet of the industry. I want to see, like I said, a Nigerian going to another country and the people will stand to respect him. I want to see a Niger I mean, Nigerians in other countries being respected. I want to see them talk and talk about the good things of, the, uh, uh, of, of our country. You know, we have a lot of potentials in this country. It's big, the, 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 the most populous black nation in, in the world, you know? So I want to see, I want to see Nigeria like a mother that has been able to raise her children to become something. That is it. So in 20 years time, I want to see great changes.